Way too many websites get published before they're ready. This may not seem like a big deal, but once customers and search engines start finding your new website with all these issues, it can do lasting damage to your reputation and your rankings. This is bad when it's your own website, but it's even worse when it happens to a client website. So in this video, I'm gonna speed run you through my internal launch checklist. This will show you all of the final checks and refinements to make sure that your site is 100% ready to launch. Now this launch checklist is a free download that you can get down below this video, but I recommend you watch the video first because it's going to explain some of the more difficult steps in this checklist. And it's also gonna show you a few tricks to use AI to speed up this whole process. So the checklist is broken up into just six categories, design and development, technical, content, testing, SEO, and launch. So first, let's start with design and dev. This one's pretty straightforward. The goal is to finish your website completely. This means every page is built, styled, and responsive. Nothing on the site can be left unfinished or broken. This includes pages like your 404 page and your legal pages. Now inside your checklist, there are a few other really quick tasks that you wanna make sure you don't forget, like adding a favicon. Now for these final design and dev checks, I find it really helpful to have at least one other person look through all the pages of the site, just to get a new perspective and an unbiased opinion. Once you've gone through all of these tasks and finalized the design and dev part of your website, you're ready to move on to the next step. The next thing we'll look at are technical tasks. These are the more logistical checks just to ensure quality control. So go through and delete any unused pages and CMS items. And you'll also need to go in and make a few changes to the settings of your website, including things like compressing code. Most of these technical tasks are pretty straightforward. So inside your checklist, you'll have more details on how to accomplish each one. The next phase is content. Now, of course, we want to ensure the overall quality and readability of the content. But as a designer and developer, that's probably not your area of expertise. But at the very least, you should be checking for spelling errors. Now, luckily, this is something that AI can do in seconds. All you need to do is input the URL of your page and then ask for a spell check. And if you wanna go even deeper, you can ask for specific recommendations to improve that content. The next phase is testing. This can be pretty boring work, especially for a creative person, but I promise you it's worth taking the time to go through page by page and test everything. You should be testing every button, every link, every form, and also testing form submissions to ensure everything is getting delivered to the right place. If you have any third-party integrations or connections, you also need to test each one of those to be sure that the data is getting passed to the proper place. Now in the first phase, we already checked responsiveness, but at this point, it doesn't hurt to go back and test on different browsers and devices. This testing phase is something you can outsource if you would like, but just make sure you have somebody that's thorough and that you can trust. The next step to go through before before launch is SEO. You should never launch a website without at least doing the most basic on-page SEO work. Now, luckily, even if you know nothing about SEO, this is really easy to do. And if you're offering this website to a client, this is a massive value add and it's going to set you apart from other designers that don't offer this type of SEO work. Nothing makes a designer look worse than publishing a new site and then having it pull up like this in the search results, especially if it has the name of the template you used. Now, there are a lot of tools that can do this SEO work for you. If you built your website in Webflow or Framer, I suggest using Semflow. This tool uses AI to automatically generate page titles and meta descriptions that are going to perfectly fit with your focus keyword and they're going to be optimized for higher click-through rates. Going through this process for every page of your website is instantly going to make it easier for you to rank on the search results. I also recommend checking your page performance and making sure that there's nothing that's preventing your pages from loading properly. This is also something you can do using the SEMflow app or you can use a tool like Google Lighthouse. Now, another major issue that we see with a lot of new websites is unfinished or extra pages getting found by search engines when they were never meant to be seen. This looks really bad when people can find these pages, especially when they're unfinished or contain private information. So you can actually control which pages get found by search engines by using using the robots txt builder inside the semflow app all you do is go page by page and toggle on the pages that you want to be found and then uncheck the ones that you want to remain hidden make sure that you do this before you publish your site and definitely before you submit it to google search console so search engines know which pages they should avoid now there's a few other tasks that you want to go through for your on-page seo all of these are outlined in your checklist and many of these tasks also have links to videos which will give you more details about how to execute each one. So this leads us to the final step, which is launch. 
So you're going to want to connect your custom domain and make sure that you have a default domain set, which should be the www version of that domain. But this is super easy and can be done inside the settings of your website. Once you publish on the new domain, make sure to unpublish the temporary domain that you were using before launch. Now, once the new site goes live, you're going to want to go through all of the pages again, do some final checks, make sure nothing was broken during the whole launch process. It's always good to play it safe and go over the top when it comes to those final checks. Now, once the site's live, you'll also want to have analytics on how the site's performing so you can connect Google Analytics for free. I also recommend setting up Semflow's auto site audit feature, which is going to crawl your site automatically every week and then send you an email if there are any new errors, warnings, or recommendations. It's nice to have these tools set up to make sure that your site is always in good standing with search engines and that it's always performing at a high level, especially as you continue to add new pages and content. It's something you always need to be aware of. So there are a lot of other tasks in that checklist that I didn't go over in this video. A lot of them are really straightforward. All you have to do is go step by step checking off each one if there are any that confuse you you can click on the provided resource there in the checklist but once you've gone through and completed all those tasks you're ready to launch now if there's anything that i didn't cover in this video or in the checklist that you like to do during your launch process please comment it down below and we can add it to that free resource thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video